Hello everybody, long time no see. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I recorded a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. I think uh, the last one was a Boy Scouts of America and the time before that was a Thread Up Box. But I've been procrastinating you might have seen it in my uh, office tour, but I have quite a few of these Goodwill Blue Boxes. I think they're all plush and shoes. I know one is jewelry that I've procrastinated on for about right around four or five months. Um, just because listing jewelry is not my forte, and I realized that I found it completely overwhelming. So I am going to unbox that one still. And instead of trying to do big batches of jewelry uploads um, to eBay and Poshmark, things like that, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe do them two at a time, which is what I've been doing with all the thread up scarves. I've been listing them two at a time. Realistically, I haven't been listing at all. I don't think I listed at all maybe a total of 10 items for the month of um, this is April, so probably right around the middle of March to the end of April. I don't think I've listed more than 10 items. Um, I've just been busy with like wedding things, but now the shower is over. Um, wedding isn't until June, so May should be normal-ish. Oh, that scared me. Somebody just walked past my window to put a paper on my porch. Um, so anyway, with that being said, you're here for this unboxing. I guarantee this is going to be plush. It should be right around 10 pounds. This is the uh, new pricing for Goodwill Blue Box. It is, I don't have any more boxes I think that were from the old pricing. So the breakdown that I give you at the end will tell you how much um, I paid for each item and if there's any junk, things like that. And I'll let you know as I go. Um, but with that, let's get started. Okay, so let me just it for uh, my microphone. Well, I'm sure you would love to look at my lovely face while I unbox this. Um, it's easier for me to look at the camera and unbox. Ooh, but apparently not look at the camera. It's stuck this open. Um, I may have opened this up upside down. Not entirely sure. Let's see. Don't want to hit the shelf there. I honestly don't know where I'm going to stick these because I used to have a giant table in here and now I have a little shipping station. So maybe I'll toss them in a bag and then pull them all out again. Oh, okay. Do you see what I see so far? Uh, I see a lot of junk except this. I know exactly who this is. Okay. Put your comments down below if you're gonna guess. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Counted it down technically backwards on my fingers, but look at this! <gasps> it's Squirrel from Ice Age. Okay, so <gasps> it is Build-A-Bear. So here's a Build-A-Bear tag if you've never seen one. Um, he is clearly miss. Oh no, I don't think he's missing anything. Maybe he is. I thought maybe his tail velcroed to his back. There is supposed to be something here have to see if it's worth trying to find a replacement for whatever that thing is. I did recently sell a Hello Kitty that had a Velcro piece on her head for her bow and she sold absolutely fine missing whatever she was, well, missing her bow. But yeah, this is from Ice Age Continental Drift. Yeah, Continental Drift. There we go. That's exciting. First thing out of the box is a Build-A-Bear and it's the squirrel. So that's neat. Okay. We have a Gans, oh, this looks just almost very similar to a 90s Beanie Baby. I was about to chuck it in the nope. If there are any TYs in this box, um, they're not being listed. I've made that decision. No more TY Beanie Babies. The, the money's too small. I'll double check because I did just sell a Thomas the Cat right around, I think, $10, which is kind of okay. Uh, but no more two, three, four, five Beanie Babies. This is a Gans. Another good plush brand to sell. Very good bread and butter plush brand. We have, ooh. Well, this is going to be a Walmart bunny. It's kind of dingy. He's probably going to go in the discard for now unless, I don't know, otherwise. But, yeah, he'll probably go in the discard. Here is a plush appeal. Home of the Mardi Gras plush. Um, it's just a blue, blue. It's 
very purple. <laughs> I think I was looking at this. Purple and pink, um, almost like a velvet kind of material. So we'll keep that to the side for now. I'm not going to discard that. Here, oh, here is a laying down brown bear. This is definitely going to be a Google lens search because somebody has cut off his tush tag. But he actually seems like really good quality. He's kind of got that firm feel, but it does have like the beans in it. And then stuffing in his feet and head. So we're definitely going to add that to the bag. Um, a Vermont teddy bear guaranteed for life. That's exciting. So last time I think I did one of these, I held up a bear and I was like, oh, he's right. He's good, great condition. And then when I watched the video back, he was missing an eyeball. So I'm definitely checking for eyeballs now. Um, but here's this. I've never seen this tag. It is a very nice embroidered tag, this Vermont teddy bear. Um, he's definitely, the, the quality of the fur on this is so soft. I don't think I've ever felt a plush this soft with this type of like fluff. <laughs> Um, we have what I believe to be a knockoff Squishmallow. It doesn't feel like a Squishmallow. His fur feels kind of stiff and bristly. It's a Santa, but his tush tag is gone. We'll also Google lenses just in case. Um, if it's like from the dollar store or something, Dollar General, this most likely won't get listed. This will end up being in the dog toy collection. Let's get out this big dolphin. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he does have a little bit of staining, so he's going to take a ride in the washing machine. It's got a bunch of brown right here. It's not really picking up too good. This is a BJ Toy Co. Oh, I've sold them before. Here's what uh, their tag looks like from BJ Toy Company. Um, it is a like white and blue embroidered tag. It does say it right on here, BJ Toy Company. Um, what I do is I put that in the title. I don't put the periods because sometimes when a Google bot um, searches your eBay listing. If there are punctuations, uh, it stops at that punctuation. I'm not sure if that's for all bots, including eBay's, but I do know for SEO, they do say to remove punctuation. I don't know how up to date I am on that. So I could be wrong, but I do list it as just BJ Toyco, no periods. It does have both the eyes. They are embroidered. Um, sometimes you also want to notate that in the listing, even though there are pictures clearly. Um, because some people do not like to buy toys that have like the hard plastic eyes. They can be a choking hazard. This is a big dolphin. He's at least like a foot and a half, two feet. That's my fishing story if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, we have our first T.Y. It's a little, I've never seen a brown pig. Uh, it's a floppy T.Y. 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 shell. Um, from 2002, so technically qualifies as vintage for Etsy. Um, we'll stick it in the discard for now. I'm not going to place it in the bag, just in case I forget to look through. Oh, this is cute. Here's a Bass Pro Shops. This must be a newer one because it also has the Cabela's on there. And if you are familiar with them, you will know that Bass Pro Shops bought out Cabela's, which is like another hunting store. It's basically the equivalent of Walmart buying out Kmart, in my opinion. Uh, but the item actually has its description to be looked up if you need it to. It's so small in writing. It says plush, or it says Blue Chick 20, produced in 2019. It's a cute little keychain. Um, if this isn't worth anything, I'll probably send this over to my mother for her keys because it's so cute. And I have enough things on my key ring. <laughs> well, let's see. We have a koala. Look at the arms on this thing. They're so long. Um, what is a Burton, Burton flush? Let's see. No, Burton and Burton. Okay, it is on there twice. Here's a tag. I've never seen it. It's not an embroidered tag. It's just a plastic tag. Here we go. Burton and Burton. Seems like really good quality. Seems like a nice toy. feel like this is probably going to be one of those hidden gems that I don't know about. And... What is this? Oh my god. This is a Cutio's Pizza Pizza Toes. P Pizzitos? Let me know how you pronounce it. It says 2020 from Basic Fun. It is a little cow and it's got a pizza on its butt. 
And like, I'm sure it's laying down, like it's supposed to be like laying flat, but to me, this looks like a superhero in flight. <laughs> this is, this is too stinking cute. Look at this thing. So I did say cow, it might be a bull, but it does. Oh yeah, let me show you the text. Here it is, Cutios, Cutos. I have no idea. See if I can bring it in closer. Maybe, maybe there, there we go. In the bag. <laughs> okay, we have a very scary looking Santa in my opinion. Um, oh, an embroidered tag. I always love when I see an embroidered tag. Hi, I'm Nick, specially made for Bath and Body Works. <gasps> oh, Bath and Body Works. Are you supposed to be one of those, like, not a Scentsy, but like a scent and buddy from Bath and Body Works, I wonder? Or does Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works doesn't have plush. I have enough of their body sprays to know I've never seen a plush inside that store. <laughs> uh, so we'll have to look him up for sure. This is pretty cool though, but let me show you that tag. It does say, I am Nick from Bath and Body Works. From Bath and Body Works? Especially made for Bath and Body Works. There's a difference. Look at that. It would make a very good like sitter, I guess, for the shelf. Cause he is weighted in the butt. Oh, so this is probably a Gans. Yep, so this one has its tush tag cut off wherever it was going to be. Usually characteristic, the characteristic signs of like a Webkins, usually some, not all of them, but a lot of them have like this like wire bristly hair and then the telltale sign is you can always check their paws and there will be a W for Webkins. Gans does own Webkins. Um, so you, I always put both those in the title, Gans and Webkins. Um, clearly this will not have a code and we'll look this one up. Some Webkins are actually surprising and worth quite a bit of money and some are surprising and worth nothing. <laughs> We have a little white teddy bear from Miss Teddy Bear Company. New with tags, quality gift from Miss Teddy Bear. I've never heard of Miss Teddy Bear. Pretty cute though. We'll have to look at this up, but it is new with tags. So usually new with tags should net us right around seven or eight dollars. Usually, depending on what it is. Here is a Winter Wonderland. This is from Big Lots. Uh, let me see if it says it on the tag at all. It does just say Tom's toy. So I probably list this as Tom's toy because, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you how I know it's from Big Lots. Let's say someone gave this bear to your child or you gave this bear to your child and this tag isn't on anymore. And the toy got ruined, dog chewed it up, kid ran it through, I don't know, underneath the lawnmower. Who knows what happened? <laughs> but when all you have left is this tag, what you'll be looking for on eBay or online is the tag information. And like I said, small lettering, so you probably can't see it, but it does say right here, Tom's Toys. So you're probably gonna look up brown bear hat, Tom's Toys. That will get you here because this came from Big Lots, right here. Chances are your child did not keep this tag on it, but it was $3 from Big Lots. I'm not sure what we'll net for it because some things that are newer like this that have a tag that show the price, um, it's hard to get more money out of it. So, so this might be one of those things that might be worth more with the tag removed. I'll have to check out comps and see if there are any comps. Sometimes there's no comps. Oh my gosh, what are the chances of this? Okay, so this is from the dollar store. Um, I know because one, I shop at the dollar store. Two, a lot of crafting groups have a Cricut. Um, we're making these around Christmas time, like for custom orders and putting a child's name on it. Do we see this name? That's not how I smell, smell. That's not how I spell our dog Lily's name. Hers is L-I-L-L-Y. But what are the chances of that? Lily, that's so funny. Still gonna be discarded though. Not worth anything. Same with this one. Um, doesn't have a name on it, just a 2021. How interesting. So, so far we're up to four discards. This is a $3 2020 Christmas bear um, distributed by Old East Maine. This is also a Tom's toy. So chances are this also came from Big Lutz. But it does say 2020 on there. 
these will probably get listed and you know what i might even i might list these together even though one's 2020 and one is 2021 this will make a cute pair and because they both still have their tags it'll increase the value just a little bit so we have one bundle listing oh you're heavy this is called a cuddles i've never yeah cuddles k-u-d-d-l-e-s this pro do you talk there's like something in here. There's something in this. Is it a, it's a bear, right? Is it a bear or a dog? Oh, all right, so there's some, I don't know if this is a dog or a bear. It kind of looks like a dog in the face, but I could see where they'd be going with a bear. Here's a tag. It says cuddles on it with a K. It is embroidered. How far do we gotta go out to get this to focus? Let's find out. Maybe if I wouldn't shake, you would focus. Maybe, maybe. Right there? I don't know. But anyway, he's got something in his stomach. It's not a voice box. It almost feels like it might be a heat pack. Like maybe you microwave him, which would be crazy. Or you stick him in the freezer. It doesn't say. It, there's nothing. So this is going to be some research. He's also quite hefty. Very heavy. Hey. We have one of these. We just sold something very similar. It was a hula girl. This one's a mermaid with yarn hair. I just gotta straighten it out a bit before she gets photographed. Actually, hers isn't as bad as the other one that just sold that took several minutes to like detangle. Hers is already good for the most part. Yeah. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> so hair's fixed. Uh, let's see, this is a big tag, I feel like, on this size of a plush. This is a fun stuff toy and a tag fun stuff literally just says fun stuff pink mermaid she is completely like firm uh firm stuffed but right here right in this part of the tail for some reason there are beans that's weird i wonder why they just didn't stuff her all the way through that's weird um but yeah she's pink glittery top she should be an easy one to sell i don't see i don't see her taking too long even with just keywords because it's not really a big brand we have oh have sold one of these before as well from a goodwill blue box squeeze me squeeze me oh this isn't getting listed i'm keeping this this is mine <laughs> i'm keeping it and let me show you so it is a squeezable so for me personally these are worth listing because people like me who like to fidget or get stressed this is nice because um, I've had several foam like stress balls and fidgety things um, and I squeezed them too hard and I've ripped or broken them all I had a shark and I ripped his tail off this is nice because it's a slow foam and it's basically padded by plush I can't get into the actual foam so this is for me <laughs> needless to say I'm stressed <laughs> we have a tiny Mickey um, probably not worth listing on his own hopefully there's something in here we can bundle him with if not um, may save him to a later time I do have a little pile growing like a tiny side off plush profit pile I'm not calling it a death pile because it's gonna get taken care of for now on I'm calling them profit piles um, just a small box set aside of things that come out of the Goodwill blue box that aren't really worth listing on their own um, that maybe I can make bundles out of later so this is just a Phoenix International publication. It is a 2015 Disney plush, but it is very tiny Mickey Mouse. So he's not going to go and discard. He will end up in the box. I don't think he'll go in with the price comping though, only because he is being put aside. Hey, see, and this is exactly why. This is a PJ Mask um, outlet. We got another one in these box and it was, I can't remember the character's name, but he was green. So now we can either bundle those up or we can wait until maybe we find the blue one, which I don't know any of their names. Lucky for me, her name is on here. It's Owlette, it's PJ Mask. Problem with waiting is sometimes, you know, the show might get canceled or it's not as popular anymore. And then, you know, you waited too long. So I'll probably just um, lot this one up with the other one, but this is a PJ Mask Frog Box E1 Just Play, Just Play plush so this one will also not get probably comped in the price copying <laughs> a 
This is a tiny, tiny, um, or small, uh, Red Gorilla imported. Uh, doesn't have any manufacturer. Let's see. No, he's going to end up in the discard. But he's cute, though. So right now, that makes five discards. I think we're down to the last few. <gasps> Ooh, this is, this is nice. Where did you, I bet you it's from Hallmark, wanna bet? Or like, yep, American Greetings. I think that's, uh, Hallmark sells American Greetings and then I think also sometimes Walmart does. It's a moose plush, but look at this. It's got a little gift card holder that says Merry Christmas. I should keep this and give it away at Christmas. We'll see, this will get, this will get comped. I'm not gonna steal two things out of this box, but this is a good idea. So what I might do is I might list this and if it doesn't sell by Christmas this year, someone uh, is getting this for Christmas because this is this is very nice. <laughs> and oh, are you a bear or a mouse? You are Commonwealth. So this is a Commonwealth toy, which tells me um, it's probably vintage. I don't see a year. No year. Any Commonwealth I've ever found has been like a 90s toy, um, and every Commonwealth I've ever received has been in a Goodwill blue box. This is a gray, I'm gonna go with gray bear. Yeah, I'm gonna go with gray bear with this cute little multicolored bow tie. He's very, he's kinda big. Like, he's probably qualifies as like a medium to large plush, super soft. And yeah, Commonwealth, did I show you that tag? I don't even know. This is what a Commonwealth tag looks like. Sorry, I shook the camera. Literally just says Commonwealth. And every Commonwealth I've seen is usually anywhere between $20 to $60 uh, enlisted. Here is a very tiny pink bear that says Loves, which to me, Loves is a gas station. Uh, unlike going west, I don't know if we have any Loves around us out here in the... In the in like Michigan? Maybe we do. No, I think we have one. I do think there's one. Maybe in Monroe? Someone correct me. Do you have a Loves in your area that's like a gas station, like truck stop? This just says Loves Lovable. I'm gonna go ahead and check it in the discard. It's too small. Too small and I really don't have anything to lot it up with. And then lastly, what are you? What is this? Oh my God, what is this? Uh, Disney. Ooh, Disney. Disney, I don't have a year. Um, so it must be, folds into a ball. Okay, so clearly it must be an armadillo, right? Because this is clearly not a bug, so it's not like a roly-poly sort of situation. How do you roll into a ball? I want to see. Let's see. Oh my God, <laughs> it's an armadillo ball. What is this from? I don't remember, I don't recall any armadillos in any Disney movie I've ever seen. Uh, what? This thing is so stinking cute. Look at his little hair poofs. Or do it, do, do armadillos have antlers? Antlers, antennas? I don't think so. No, maybe those are ears. It's so cute, look at his little toes. Oh my God. Can't steal two things. This thing or this thing. Okay, let's be real. Me stealing this one is probably only worth like five or six dollars. Me stealing this one might be worth more because it seems like this could be an obscure Disney character. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look so I can give you this information. Okay, so we're back. So this is why I don't know because I'm. I guess I'm not up to date on <laughs> Disney films like I thought. Um, so this is Tuk Tuk from Rhea, The Last Dragon. Yeah, Rhea, Rhea and The Last Dragon. Um, so I went ahead and pulled some eBay comps because I figured I was already looking on the computer for what the heck Disney movie has an armadillo in it. And um, comps are looking anywhere between like eight and $15 used. I'm gonna mark it used because um, it doesn't have like its brand new tag. It does have this tag on it, but it looks like it could also possibly be missing something from the back. But it looks like, I think that was just like the sale band for it to show that it rolled up. Um, 
but he is going to go as used. What was I saying? Um, this has to be, so Rhea and the Last Dragon was just released in 2021. It's 2022 currently. Um, this had to be just recently bought and donated. Who, who got sick of their armadillo plush that quickly? It's too cute to get sick of. Not taking it. Unless it doesn't sell. Doesn't mean anything. One day you'll see an office tour and it'll just be full of stuffed animals that I have listed and I'll just have to dig through them to find the one I've sold. Not really. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so it does have the Disney tag. It looks like there's a couple being sold on Amazon that are apparently, according to reviews, cheap knockoffs. So I'm not sure about that, but I don't sell on Amazon anyway. The fees are just too high. Plus I like being in control of having my own inventory, which I understand that you can have your own inventory on Amazon, but I don't know. I don't think it's for me. That's just how I feel. Okay. So if you've made it this far, I'm about to give you a breakdown on what I think each one of these costs right around. Um, don't know if I'll give you how much I'm going to make because there's a lot of unknowns in here. There's a lot of brands I haven't seen before, which is kind of nice. I'm used to a lot of like small Disney and things like that. Um, things that will not be comped are the one that I'm keeping. And then there's five or six down there that are in the discard, which is a lot more than average, but I think I'm getting pickier, which I think is a good thing. Um, give me just a second. I'll give you the breakdown. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. So I'm back with the breakdown. Uh, I'm not going to show you this little tiny print because uh, my handwriting gets worse and worse by the day. <laughs> so um, the total cost, and I usually throw it up on the screen, but I might not today just because there's so much now happening behind me that it might be hard to see the text. Um, so the total for this box um, is $29.99 plus $5 shipping and plus two, look at the computer, two ten in tax for a total of $37.09. Does anyone remember when the boxes used to only be tax free and only $20 with $5 shipping? I remember those days. So moving on, cause we can't control how much Goodwill Blue Box charges for these things and they're already bought. So, $37.09. And while doing the math, I did discover that this is probably the most expensive plush box I have. Because typically, when I do the math, I only have right around a dollar to a dollar fifty per plush. Um, now, because I took so many out as unsellable, I did steal one, and I didn't count the Mickey and the comps and the numbers because, and I didn't count Outlet either because they are not technically sellable currently without being bundled with something else. So you're only seeing the price breakdown based on 19 plush that are currently sellable besides being washed um, in this box. So there was a total of 29. There are 10 that were removed there. So eight discarded, one stolen, two set aside for a total of 19. If I have that right, I may have said that all wrong. Um, but I only have one bundle, which is this one here. And I'll tell you why this is being bundled and it might not even be worth bundling, but I'm going to do it. I don't know why, because I bought it. So I need to sell it. The price per item in this box, right from the big ones to the teeny tiny ones, which is then too teeny tiny, but the breakdown per item is a dollar 95 per plush, which makes this bundle three ninety, So almost $4 for this. What I have spent $4 for these at the, at the plush store <laughs> at the thrift store. Oh my God. Could you imagine if there was just a thrift store for stuffed animals? I'd be there every day. Anyway, so three ninety for this lot. I would not have paid two and two at the thrift store. I would have left these behind. Ironically, it's almost, you know, what they were originally sold for, which was $3. Um, so one bundle equals $3.90. That's not including any selling fees and um, like listing fees, how much I pay my photographer. This is just for this box. Actually, that's all my pricing. I only share what I cost per, per item, not for all the other uh, little minute fees. <laughs> but yeah, so right down to here, $1.95. I would have picked this up for $1.95 um, and things like that. So is that everything? Yeah. So breakdown again is $37.09. Sorry, I have to look down to read because I can't remember what I just wrote. $37.09 for the total. 
29 total with all of them included. And I, that does include Owlet and Mickey in that total. Total sellable is only the ones being sent to be photographed, which is 19. Uh, number of bundles in this box is one. Price per item is $1.95. Price per bundle is $3.90. That means there are eight being discarded and one that I have classified as stolen because it's mine. It's mine. Slow phone. Let me show you the ones that are discarded and then I'll let you go. Just so I can be completely transparent about what we're keeping and what we're not keeping. I have decided to go ahead and purge the Santa. Lily will appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and discard the T.Y. Pig. I might do one quick search, but chances are he's going to be discarded. I have gone ahead and discarded the, uh, what is it? <laughs> we talked so much I forgot. <laughs> the Mardi Gras plush. Not going to be worth anything. I've gone ahead and discarded both Dollar Tree Elves. Cat playing with a toy in the background. A dirty bunny. I did sell a lot of, a lot, uh, like a, not a lot of them, but a bundle of them um, just this past Easter, but it did take almost a year to sell. So there's that. We're discarding this red monkey and this pink bear. And that's it. Tell them I was going to say this one again, but we've already said that. So that leaves one medium sized bag of plush. And that's all I got for you today. Let me know if you're still buying the Goodwill blue boxes. I haven't bought one. I just went and checked to check to see how much I paid for this box. I haven't bought one since February 22nd. We are now at the end of April, beginning of May. So that's almost two, mo two months and I was buying them, several of them, every single week. So I don't know if I'm proud of myself or I should be disappointed because I haven't run out of stuff to list without unboxing these. All right, see you next time. Bye.